Hello everyone, welcome to Novo Creative Tutorials. Today we are going to start a new tutorial series and it's going to be about abstract motion graphics in Adobe After Effects. So now I will show you how to create futuristic abstract data background animation in Adobe After Effects without using any third-party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after creating your composition, create a new solid and let's rename this grid and then I'm going to apply Venetian blinds effects here. So here we got transition completion. So you can see what this effect is doing. We have direction here, width and feather as well. And of course, this got transparency. So let's reset these and here I'm going to set 85 and duplicate this effect and change direction to minus 90. So we got this kind of grid here. And then I'm going to create a new solid. This is going to be fractal. And let's pre-compose this and rename it to map. So this is going to be a map that we're going to use for displacement. So here I'm going to apply fractal noise and let's set complexity to one for now. And transform here we have scale let's sit there 400 and here maybe 150 minus 50 just something or let's actually just have it something like this basically for now and then i'm going to apply fast box blur here and say radius to 20 and repeat edges so you can see here we add some uh, nice map here so we just smooth that and let's put these just below and just turn it off and here I'm going to add a new adjustment layer and this is going to be the 3d displacement map and then I'm going to apply card dance effect so make sure to watch previous tutorial we cover how to use that creating 3D displacement typography animation. So as you see, when we apply that, nothing happened here. So here we need to assign these fractal map here to these gradient layer one and nothing happened yet. Here we have rows and columns. So first we need to go to Z position and source and here I'm going to choose intensity one. You can see here we have few channels and you can see we have one and two. So this is referring to layer one and layer two. So because I have it on the layer one, I'm going to choose here intensity one. And you can see what's happened here. We got some uh, displacement here. And here we have camera position. So you can change the camera here. But basically we're going to use camera comp. So going to create camera here. And now we have our camera, so we can change the look here. So let's first create a new null, make it 3D. Let's rename this cam and just link the camera to this. So just for easy changing here, the look and so on. So let's put there 70. We got something like this. And let's back to 3D displacement. So here we have multiplier. So you can just multiply that and see what's going on. So here I'm going to just put what, 5. And then let's have two views. And let's open this fractal map now. So here, uh, if we change anything, you can see now it's going to affect um, displacement right there so first let's actually have animation here so let's go to evolution and keyframe and then just have one evolution here so now it's going to be animating so let's just preview this so you can see how this look as is animated and let's just preview this one right now Okay, that's look pretty cool. So you can see how this is animating as well. So let's actually change here, maybe zoom these a little bit, something like that, just to get some 
interesting view here. So let's just get R for rotation and maybe I'll rotate that something like this for now. So here on map, you can see now as I'm going to scale these, you can see what's going on here. This is very cool because you can have so many different looks. We can see we got something like that. And then I'm going to back right here. And on 3D displacement, we still have a few parameters. So here we have X scale and Y scale. So here I'm going to assign intensity one as well. So you can see how the looks now is changing right there. We are getting some very cool look here, as you see. So let's put this to full resolution. You can see how this is looking and of course you just need to be careful with the multiplier so you can see what's going on there you don't have to go crazy you can see what's happening there okay i'm just going to leave that as one maybe push this a little bit higher or so so it depends on what you want there and let's back to the map here so basically here i'm going to change here these two dynamic and then see these to spline so now you can see we got a totally different look on here that's really cool so let's preview this one right now here and i'm previewing these at half resolution that's why it looked like this so here let's have more rows and now 100 and 50 so now we got something like this very cool and very interesting so you can see now if you back to 3d displacement here and we don't want to have any of the x scale and so on you're going to get something like that so let's just zoom this a little bit and you can get totally different look right here something like this let's give it a preview here so as you see this look pretty cool and if you need to create these as looping animation we need to go to the map here and just on evolution option i'm going to cycle the evolution here and then let's preview these one more time here So as you see here, you can have endless result and you can see how smooth is this uh, looping. So now let's see what we can do with these even more. So let's just have more space here. So here on fractal, you can have endless result just changing here, the fractal playing with it. So let's just make this a little bit smaller so you can see how the look automatically changed here. So maybe even change here the brightness as well so maybe change here camera view just rotate that something like this so i'm going to show you here a few examples like this one we have right here so we're going to work on that, how I create that. So let's back here to the map. So here, basically, we need to choose blocks. And then you can see it changed here as well. So let's just reset these cam here. Reset the camera here. And let's link the camera back to the null. So here now let's actually rotate these something like this so you can see now here um, how this look very cool and very interesting so let's just put there 150 and 
you can actually just zoom these and you can see what we got here. So here you can choose strings and then we got something like this. Totally different look as you see. You can just play with these and see which one worked the best for you here. So let's just skip these around there. So now you can basically just zoom these and here what I'm going to do is animating this camera. So let's basically put this to zero and just animate that to 70. So here we're going to have something like this and also animate the camera. Maybe going to put these somewhere there. Maybe zoom a little bit. And let's just split this camera now. And for this one, maybe split these as well here. Okay, so let's back to three displacement. So maybe here you can put one or maybe just less than that something like these and here I'm going to assign intensity on X and Y so we got something like these as you see here that's look pretty cool so let's preview and see how this looks like So as you see, this look pretty cool. Maybe it's fast, so we just need to adjust here the evolution. So maybe I'm just going here for maybe 150. So we don't need these to have any loop animation. And let's preview these again here. Okay, that's look pretty cool. And so and now I'm going to show you how you can add some other things to these. For example, like you see here in these example here, we have these digital numbers right there. So here um, I already have created these digital number. It's straightforward actually. Let's just go back here. So here we have this animation. So let's preview this. So as you see here, this is straightforward to create basically. So let's see this example actually here. So here I just have one animator and opacity set to zero and just animating here the end. And the most important thing is on advanced is to change here the shape to ramp up. So that's how we're going to get the look. So you can see now we got that. So you can have another duplicate and change the shape as well. So this is straightforward here. So all I need to do now here is just drag these and just put it above here the grid. So now we're going to get that uh, digital look numbers right there as well. But what, I'm, what I did actually for this example here is having just one in animating like this. So just animating the position of these effects. So here, that's all you need to do. So I'm just going to replace the one that is animating here. So let's preview and see how this looks like. Okay, so that's look pretty cool. So now we need to stylize this a little bit to look better. So let's create a new adjustment layer here and let's rename this to glow and then apply 
glow effect here. So you can see now we got something like that. So let's duplicate these and just start playing to see uh, which nice look we are going to get right there. So maybe going to duplicate these, change the blending mode to add, maybe for this one, we just need one here. So you can stylize these as you want. So just giving you an idea here. And then what I'm going to do basically is create another one here. And this is going to be the camera depth of field. And going to add camera lens blur here. And you can see by adding that we got some very nice cool looking. You can just use masks to add the parts you want to be in focus. So here we're going to use the same map that we created. So here you can see now what we got. Let's put there 10 so we can see exactly what's going on or even more. So we can see we got some focus bar. You can invert that and you can also play with the focus here. So you get the idea. So here I'm going to basically put that to the middle and just put there eight or maybe just leave it at seven here. And you can do whatever you want in this part. So now you can see how this looks. So let's preview this one more time. So that's it guys, hope you get the idea and find this tutorial very useful for you as always. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon and stay home and stay safe. Thank you for watching.